Un coup de cœur. Please be seated. The court is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. I hand over the floor to the defense team for Mr. Nunchia to resume his uh, line of questioning. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Maître Coppe. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Um, Mr. Expert, we had a uh, complicated uh, discussion before the break, and um, also due to uh, the usage of non-Khmer terms in your answers, maybe things were not uh, always clear to everybody. So if, if you allow me to, to summarize at least uh, one point uh, which seems to be important, and that is the fact that I think uh, we have established um, that um, if the majority of the victims si uh, that you have worked with suffer from um, PTSD de or from de stress uh, depression, for instance, de that it doesn't say exemple, anything about um, rien the people who lived in the DK period les gens qui ont uh, as a whole. Is that correct? Kampucha démocratique dans leur ensemble. Est-ce exact? I am afraid I do not really get your point. Are you talking about the impact uh, of the people following the Khmer Rouge period? Uh, can you please uh, uh, um, rephrase uh, your, your sentence? Of course. Question. Bien entendu. Is it correct that we have established now that when you présent, were speaking about the majority of the victims that you had worked with, avec qui vous aviez travaillé, that they were suffering from PTSD or another trauma, qui de that de that fact doesn't say anything about the percentage Cela of the people rien sur la who have a trauma de and la who live through the DK period as a whole. Du Kampucha démocratique dans son ensemble. Well, for clarification, when we conducted a survey. <coughs> in order to um, analyze or assess the state of uh, psychological impacts, uh, we um, use uh, the questionnaire in order to ask whether or not there are symptoms of people who suffer from psychological uh, disorder. According to the uh, uh, res result uh, from the response, then some 80% of them, uh, they had a psychological uh, problem uh, as a consequence of the uh, Khmer Rouge uh, period. Only a uh, small minority of them who uh, suffered um, psychological impacts uh, after the uh, Khmer Rouge uh, regime. Uh, for example, they may uh, be affected by uh, traumatic events, for example, of robbing or so, but the majority of them uh, suffered psychological disorder uh, during the Khmer Rouge period. Mais pour la plupart de ces gens, ils ont subi un traumatisme psychologique qui remonte à la période um, let, let, me, let me rephrase my question and, and um, je vais reformuler ma question. A, read something from a, a report or, or an article that you also mentioned, an article by Nigel Field. Vous avez cité, écrit par and Nigel he is, Field. and I will quote from it, um, he is saying that the enduring impact of the Khmer Rouge regime on the mental health of Cambodians is well documented. Durable, du In a recent study examining the mental health of Cambodians, 14.2% of first-generation survivors of the Khmer Rouge were found who currently have post-traumatic stress disorder. And in a separate survey study, 11.5% of Cambodians met the criteria for major depression. Now, if we just briefly focus on those two percentages, 14 and 11, do you agree that that is the Percentage 
qu'il s'agit du pourcentage dont nous parlons um, lorsqu'il s'agit de traumatismes vécus par des gens qui ont traversé la période du Kampuchea démocratique. But, uh, Réponse. Thank you. If uh, you look at the last uh, few pages, si uh, the last section uh, of these reports, you will see the limitation, uh, the limitation um, of the uh, study because there were some constraints uh, in the uh, study. Normally, uh, in any one study, uh, there is some limitation. Uh, some people normal, found uh, soit, 11, 14, 16, or 17, and some uh, found 11, below 14, uh, 10. So I don't think Certains that this uh, poses any uh, issue. But what is an issue is that uh, this uh, figure um, do not vary from one research to another. Ne varie pas étude à Would it be accurate if I Question. said that 86% of the people who lived through the DK period is not suffering from a Merci, Monsieur le Président. Uh, tout à l'heure, l'expert a parlé d'une étude ago, de 2012 to qui parlait study, de 14% présence de présence de stress du syndrome post-traumatique dans la tranche d'âge des 16 ans et plus PhD au Cambodge. Et c'était en 2012. Ce qui veut dire Cambodia, que ce chiffre de 14%, si je ne me trompe pas, se rapporte à des gens Unless I am wrong, âgés de 16 ans à environ euh, from 16 35 ans to 35, qui n'ont pas vécu sous les Khmer Rouge. Who did not live under the Khmer Et donc là, il y a déjà une nuance regime. à apporter parce que so, dans le chiffre de 14%, on parle de personnes ayant vécu sous le Khmer Rouge et des personnes n'ayant pas vécu sous le Khmer Rouge. Regime, and who did not live under the je crois que la question regime. telle qu'elle est posée induit so I, I légèrement en erreur les partis et, et l'expert également. Would mislead both the parties Merci. and the experts. I thank you. Mr. President, I, I, I don't understand the objection. I was Je ne comprends pas l'objection. Reading from juste a report cited by the expert himself from Nigel Field. Par même, rapport um, établi par it's Nigel a report Field called intergenerational transmission transmission d'une génération à l'autre d'un traumatisme découlant du régime Khmer Rouge. Et il est dit que l'impact du régime Khmer Rouge concernant la santé mentale des Cambodgiens est bien documentée. Dans une étude qui examine la santé mentale des Cambodgiens est bien documentée. Une étude récente sur cet état de santé mentale a montré que 14,2% des rescapés de première génération ont été considérés comme souffrant de syndrome de stress post-traumatique. Je pose seulement une question pour avoir des éclaircissements. Est-ce que cela veut dire que 85,8% des rescapés de première génération ne présentent pas de syndrome de stress post-traumatique We cannot uh, draw réponse. that conclusion. On ne peut pas tirer une telle conclusion. Because when we talk about en effet, uh, trauma, quand on parle de traumatisme, it does not only involve uh, PTSD. Il ne s'agit pas seulement du syndrome de stress post-traumatique. Uh, Il existe aussi well. d'autres pathologies. Uh, what you are saying is the PTSD, but there are other diseases, as I say, it uh, might be uh, depression or anxiety or somatization and other psychosocial, social, psycho, psycho uh, problems as well. So if we um, conclude that uh, some 80 uh, 5 or so percent 
uh, did not have uh, PTSD, si I, I do not agree with it. Des gens ne présentent pas de syndrome de stress post-traumatique. Je ne peux pas être d'accord. La défense. Uh, Je ne comprends pas. Uh, depression... J'ai parlé um, de la dépression. Wait. Et du coup, de la dépression. Il est dit que dans une autre étude, il a été montré que 11,5 pour la dépression. Des Cambodgiens Now, remplissaient les critères fixés pour détecter la présence de dépression grave. Uh, sorry, um, 80, uh, Autrement dit, 89.5% do not have major 89 ne souffrent pas de dépression grave. If you refer uh, solely to si uh, depression, that is correct. Uniquement à la dépression, But exact. if you say it was the si uh, result of the um, uh, uh, traumatic event, uh, then um, that is not correct because uh, the consequence of a traumatic event may result in many different uh, diseases and PTSD is one of them and uh, depression is also one of them. If, if you allow me, let's, let's, let's focus only on um, uh, PTSD. Sur le syndrome de stress post-traumatique uniquement. Do you know how this 14.2% compares uh, to other countries which in which um, conflict has occurred, which has suffered from uh, uh, conflicts or wars? How does, for instance, Cambodia, when it comes to uh, PTSD, compare with Rwanda? Par exemple, with, uh, Kosovo, comme le other Rwanda, le Kosovo like ou d'autres, pour ce qui est du, de la présence du syndrome de stress post-traumatique. According to uh, the study by uh, Professor De Jong, les études uh, du professeur De Jong. Uh, conducted comparative uh, study of the psychological impacts of post-war uh, countries. Uh, his uh, study was done in 2002 or so, and he said the rate of or the prevalence of PTSD accounts for around um, uh, 80 plus uh, percent, and this uh, was different from the uh, prevalence of uh, uh, the uh, other countries like in Rwanda or in other places, but uh, lower than uh, that of uh, Algeria. Mais on était en deçà du chiffre de l'Algérie. Are you saying that the PTSD percentage in Cambodia is higher than in other countries? Qu'au Cambodge, le taux de prévalence du syndrome de stress post-traumatique est plus élevé que dans d'autres pays? According to that research, uh, Cambodia was uh, even was only lower uh, than. Uh, that in Algeria, that is the only country that uh, uh, the prevalence of people who suffered from traumatic events in Cambodia. Plus élevé au Cambodge. Um, in the same article Question. from Nigel Field, le même uh, de I read Nigel the following passage. Field, je vais lire un extrait. For many Cambodians, Pour de nombreux Cambodians Exposure to trauma began à, à well before the beginning of the Khmer Rouge début as a result of extensive bombing Khmer inside Rouge, Cambodia by the Americans during the Vietnam War, which resulted in heavy casualties Vietnam, and displacement of civilians. De et de it also continued for years after the, formal event, after the formal end of the Khmer Rouge through pockets of ongoing fighting throughout the country avec des and exposure de to trauma in Thai refugee camps. L'exposition à des traumatismes dans des camps de réfugiés of, of en Thaïlande. Sur la base de vos recherches ou de vos connaissances, pouvez-vous dire si la prévalence Cambodia du syndrome de stress post-traumatique au Cambodge est plus élevée the the post en raison des and événements antérieurs et postérieurs à la période du Kombucha démocratique Well, 
what uh, was uh, written in that um, research paper, it was actually conducted by a researcher and uh, he actually uh, cited uh, from the previous finding of other uh, writer. It was not a finding by uh, Mr. Nigel Field himself. Of course, uh, PTSD uh, could also exist among Cambodian people. Uh, during the period prior to the decay period because there were bombardments. But uh, it only um, confined to only a certain uh, group of people. And I don't know whether or not the research actually uh, captured uh, the question concerning uh, the uh, period before the decay. But in terms of the uh, research on the uh, people who were affected by the traumatic event during the Khmer Rouge period, uh, actually uh, there were uh, questions uh, for them, even though um, they uh, did not uh, suffer from um, psychological disorder, but they were prone or they were vulnerable to uh, PTSD when, for example, if anything happens, then this person is vulnerable to um, traumatic uh, experience. How would you be able to establish that if somebody Comment is suffering from dire que si um, PTSD syndrome de stress didn't get that trauma from the period before 75 or the period after 79, would you would one be able 79. to establish that at all? But um, in numerous research that I have um, encountered, they uh, made the use of a uh, questionnaire, and there are questions concerning the uh, traumatic uh, events that people have come across. According to the findings from the researchers that I mentioned earlier on, uh, they uh, focus on people who suffered from uh, traumatic events, and those traumatic events were referred to as the event that took place uh, during the Democratic Cambodia period, and uh, they uh, assessed assess the uh, symptom, and these symptoms actually corroborate with the event that took place during the period of uh, Khmer Rouge. Uh, it was actually uh, correlated with the um, event uh, that uh, uh, took place during the Khmer Rouge period. Um, yesterday, you have been asked um, questions about the civil parties that have been uh, testifying here um, the beginning of the week and, and last week. Um, and it seems that uh, at least the majority of these uh, civil parties who have been testifying uh, are suffering uh, from, uh, from traumas or from maybe even um, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. Would it be fair to say that these civil parties, if they were part of the Cambodian population, belong to that 14.2 percent of the Cambodian population uh, that is suffering from PTSD? Are you talking about uh, the uh, civil party who came to testify in court uh, last week and earlier this week that they were part of the 14.2 percent? Well, I, I cannot uh, come uh, into a definite conclusion. Uh, they may be part of this 14.2 percent or they may be not part of this 14.2 uh, percent. Let me, let me ask question. it differently. Je vais poser um, la question autrement. What does the selection of the 16 civil parties who have been testifying Le in court des 16 say civils qui sont venus about the suffering of the Cambodian population as a whole sur les in the DK 
de la population cambodgienne dans son ensemble durant la période du Cambodge démocratique. Y a-t-il, selon vous, une corrélation Le président, Monsieur l'expert, please hold on. Council, you may proceed. La parole est à la co-avocate principale pour les partis civils. Oui, Monsieur le Président, je voudrais faire une objection yes, à Mr. cette question like pour une raison toute simple, c'est que le choix de ces partis civils a été fait par les avocats des partis civils et par nous-mêmes, et que je ne vois pas du tout comment Monsieur l'expert pourrait se prononcer sur ce so choix et les critères de ce choix. Speak on this choice and the criteria whereby we made that choice. It is not up to him to express an opinion on that. Mr. President, if I may quickly reply, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to establish whether the, uh, the testimony or, and, and the impact statements of the civil parties are in fact representative of uh, suffering in the DK period. À la période du Cambodge We have been listening to um, 16, 17 civil parties. They have been giving um, their statements on, on, and, and been speaking about impact. Well, my question is, is this a group representative? Is this group, this group representing uh, the population of the UK in 75, 79 as a whole? So I think it's a fair question. Du Cambodge démocratique dans son ensemble pour la période 75-79. Je pense que c'est une question qui se justifie. The president. Prosecutor, you may proceed. Le président, je vous en prie. La parole est à l'accusation. Merci, Monsieur le Président. La question pourrait peut-être se justifier si hier l'avocat de la défense de Munchia n'avait pas précisément fait une objection et euh, qui avait résulté dans le fait de savoir si M. l'expert avait entendu les témoignages ou plutôt les déclarations des parties civiles dans les deux semaines qui ont précédé et il avait dit qu'il était en voyage. Alors, dans la mesure où il était en voyage, peut-être qu'il a eu effectivement des informations par d'autres sources, mais tout de même, euh, le même avocat qui a objecté en disant euh, hier, est-ce que vraiment l'expert a pu entendre ce qui a été dit durant ces audiences Le même avocat maintenant pose des questions et invite l'expert à tirer des conclusions à propos de cela. Je trouve que c'est paradoxal et que ça ne se justifie pas. Ce n'est pas logique. Le président. Le président. The objection by the prosecution is um, appropriate de l'accusation because the witness, the expert effet, rather before us, uh, did not uh, come to the court or observe uh, the testimony of the statement of, and statement of suffering of the civil parties, parties civils. that uh, the chamber uh, summoned to uh, testify over the past weeks. Que la a au cours de ces dernières Therefore, semaines. the expert um, needs not Par respond to the last question posed by the defense counsel. Very well, Mr. President. Très bien, Monsieur le Président. Rephrase the question Je vais completely. reformuler complètement ma question. Um, Mr. Expert, would you be able to inform the court what, in your opinion, dire à la Chambre uh, should have been done in respect of the selection of civil parties in order la to, des civils, uh, to present the Chamber a representative pour présenter à la percentage of un pourcentage représentatif um, people who have suffered de gens the DKP. ayant souffert durant la in période words, du Cambodge démocratique. En d'autres termes, 
the manner of representativeness have been have been um, la question de la warranted. représentativité what should, which, which civil parties should have been giving testimony here to this court assurer would you be able to say something about the, the, the manner ce, of en uh, quelle the representativeness of que pouvez-vous dire de la représentativité parties. des partis civils I don't think that I am in the position to uh, say anything about that, particularly in the uh, determination of the criteria for the selection of civil party to testify before this chamber. Let me, let me try it from another angle. Je vais aborder les if choses sous un autre angle. the percentages are correct, si Les pourcentages sont and exacts. 14 percent Et si of 14 percent the survivors of that period des survivants de cette période um, are suffering from PTSD. Souffrent de syndrome de stress post-traumatique. representative selection of the people who lived in that period. There also be civil parties or people who are not suffering. Uh, from PTSD. In other words, the uh, people belonging to the other 86% of the population in the DK period. De syndrome de stress post Autrement dit, n'y a-t-il pas également les 86 autres uh, pourcents? The president. The expert needs Le not answer to this president. question because the question is not um, founded répondre. and. The expert uh, has already made it clear that uh, he is not in the position to decide on the criteria for the selection of civil party to testify. And Mr. Coupe, uh, please be reminded that these uh, civil parties who were summoned by uh, the uh, chamber to testify. It was not up to the uh, expert and it was not uh, chosen uh, from among the Cambodian people in general, but uh, they were selected from the admitted uh, uh, civil party to K002. That is, that is correct, Your Honor. Um, Another thing that is... Uh, I think my last uh, series of questions que to you, um, ma dernière série de Mr. Monsieur l'expert. Uh, although you haven't been here, um, while Même evidence si was given by the civil parties on, 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 the, on the impact, um, it could be concluded that on quite a, a few uh, of the civil parties um, were testifying uh, or, or are living not in Cambodia but rather uh, in France uh, or the United States. Now I've seen studies uh, which indicate that the trauma seems to be higher with Cambodians living uh, in the United States uh, or France or Australia. To begin with that latter, is that correct? People who are living, exact? Uh, the percentage of people who are, of Cambodian people who are living not in Cambodia, is that percentage higher when it comes to uh, trauma? Le pourcentage des personnes souffrant de traumatisme est plus élevé parmi les Cambodiens qui vivent à l'étranger. Um, yes, the top of the number of people comparing to the number of people of Cambodian living overseas. Although the percentage may be low, but the number is not the same as the, those uh, people who lived in uh, Cambodia. The previous study, in, in fact, focused on the uh, seriousness or the severity of those people who lived overseas despite uh, their la living overseas for 10 to 20 years and they are continuing. Les gens qui vivent à I think my response to you is rather clear now. Et, uh, de subir ce is que the fact that, that somebody is living outside of Question. Cambodia adding to the risk of suffering from, for instance, uh, 
au risque PTSD, de souffrir de or depression. dépression ou de syndrome du stress post-traumatique. Réponse. Yes, I testified before oui. this court yesterday. Cambodian people who lived overseas still suffer from psychological trauma due to a number of factors. Although they enjoy the safety and uh, have full Même social security support, si but they lacked in the area of a culture, sociale, religion, euh, pas, and their euh, religious practice. Les they les lack in their communication due to ils language ont, barrier, and their younger generation seems to be distant from them. And these are the factors that may trigger them Ce sont of the previous event. And it's the study by this professor actually confirmed that among the, the, the subjects cela. for his study, they are easy to be triggered by a slight event les when they have even just a, a small fracture with uh, the family members and that would uh, uh, trigger the, the trauma and these are the aspects that they are lacking and for that reason that the trauma continues. Thank you, Mr. Actually, one last, one last uh, point. Going back to the percentages of 86 versus uh, 14 when it comes to uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, um, are you able to opine on factors such as um, education or wealth or status of um, people who are suffering from, from PTSD. In other words, Chez do you have a, a, when you were living in 1975, a higher chance Autrement to develop uh, PTSD uh, when you were it, it an academic or, or a teacher or, or, have, or, or somebody having a higher education rather than being a peasant um, living in the province? If you look at the study Réponse. by the field and relationship of the PTSD and other factors, the, the number of traumatic, traumatic events under his study and the, the support that those people received under the Khmer Rouge regime, for instance, oh. if they f had uh, an issue and they could seek a support, sous les Khmer Rouge, and uh, their problème, economic situation, they are interlinked through PTSD. In other words, and that will be my final question, to use the terminology of 17 April people and, uh, and base people, is the chance of development of a PTSD or depression higher or substantially higher with, uh, with, 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 with uh, the former? In other words, do uh, 17 April people have a substantially higher chance to develop a, a, a disorder, mental disorder, than uh, people who are referred to as base people? I cannot uh, make that conclusion Réponse because I haven't done uh, that a study. However, I can étude. say that anyone who contre, suffer more or repeated traumatic events would develop the PTSD as indicated by nature field, répété, as he indicated the number of the traumatic, traumatic, traumatic events Nigel through field. the PTSD. Le lien est entre les if the 17 April people experience uh, multiple traumatic events, then they would tend to develop si more of the symptoms of the PTSD. Il est plus probable il in other words, and, and now I will really uh, f finish. In other words, we, would you be able to say that the percentage of people with an education or from a higher social class, that they are overrepresented in this uh, 14 uh, 
ont su représenter dans cette part des 14% de la population qui souffre de syndrome de stress post-traumatique C'est assez difficile pour moi de, faire, de tirer une conclusion là-dessus. Cela dépend de plusieurs facteurs. Il est possible qu'ils ne soient pas dans la partie des 14 because the present syndrome is related to the loss. So for those people who were of a higher class or have a higher education, they would fall into the depression group if they actually give more value to the property that they lost. So depression is also part of the, uh, part of the trauma. So it means that they fall outside of PTSD, but they ne, still experience the symptoms, symptoms of symptoms of trauma. Thank you, very much. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Maître Copa, je vous remercie. Merci, Monsieur le Président. President, thank you. Merci beaucoup. The floor is now given to Kyiv Sampan to defend to pose questions to this expert. Pour son interrogatoire, Mr. Lopatien. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours. And uh, good Merci afternoon, Mr. Chum Sotiri. Chum Sotira, rather, says the Council. You testified yesterday that you are 45 years old. Can you tell us your date of birth? Quelle est votre date de naissance? Date of birth, Mr. President. Date of birth, Mr. I was born on the 14th of July 1968. Question, is this your real date of birth? Or is this the one that you changed? Answer, in fact, it's the year 1968. I had a use about three years old after the Khmer Rouge regime so that I avoid being drafted into the army. Plutôt, je l'ai réduite de trois ans après les Khmer Rouges pour éviter d'être euh, conscrit dans l'armée. Regarding uh, your study Question. at the uh, medical university, we knew that you completed it in 1992. Uh, what year did you start it? Did you start? En, quel, en quelle année avez-vous commencé vos études? And so it was in 1986. En 1986. Question. Question. So you studied uh, medicine for six years. Vous avez donc étudié la médecine pendant six ans. Thank you for that. Oui, merci. Je vous remercie. During these last two days of your uh, testimony, I have heard that you did not engage in the study of the percentage of Cambodian people who que vous suffered pas à traumatic event. Am I correct to say that? Qui ont de Answer, raison? allow me to say that in Cambodia, réponse, there is no study conducted amongst the entire population regarding a traumatic event. But there is also a population study which is the most reliable than other studies, that is the Sunnis study conducted in 2012. Thank you. Question. In relation to civil parties in case 002, do you haven't done any study on the percentage or the rate of the, uh, of the uh, traumatic events uh, occurred upon them, am I correct? Answer. Réponse. Allow me to say that the TPO where I uh, worked actually conducted uh, interviews 
Uh, with the civil parties for cases at 0, 0 or 2, and the interviews are 250 in number. We actually established a questionnaire to conduct the, the survey on this uh, traumatic event, and we actually found uh, some of them do have problems with the trauma. Vu que Thank you. Question. De ces personnes présentes Do you know the total number of civil Question. parties in case 002? Connaissez-vous le nombre total de parties civiles dans le dossier 002? Answer: No, Réponse. I don't know the actual non. number, but I believe it is uh, almost 4,000. It's between 3,000 to 4,000. Thank you. Question. Does this mean that you only undertook the study of the civil parties in case 002 up to about 6% based on the figures that you provided? que vous n'avez mené une étude chez les parties civiles constituées dans le dossier 002 qu'à hauteur de 6%? We actually uh, continue our screening for the study. The study has not yet completed Cette étude, elle and that is due complété. to the limited resources that we have. En raison des ressources limitées à notre disposition. Staff working for this project. Il n'y a que 6 ou 7 membres so de notre personnel qui travaillent sur ce projet. Nous ne pouvons donc pas travailler avec chacune des trois ou quelques milliers de parties civiles, mais nous faisons de notre mieux pour mener à bien cette étude. Merci. Question. Merci. Question. 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 Que vous, que Are vous you actually uh, provided, providing a counseling service to them or the treatment to them? Have you offered the services of therapy or the treatment to these people? It is in a form Réponse. of psychological intervention. Il une the espèce intervention, intervention purpose, and in order to know whether it is effective or not. We have a true actually conduct a study with the subject that is with those sujets. people. Question. I don't really get uh, what you mean Question. by the Je term intervention. Can you elaborate a little ah, bit further when you talk about the intervention? Que dire? Is uh -huh. it a kind of a, a, a measure in order to reduce uh, their uh, traumatized uh, feeling, something like that? Quelque chose que vous faites pour réduire Answer. leur sentiment de traumatisme. Intervention means giving assistance to them psychologically. It could be in the form of a individual counseling, group counseling, or medical treatment, or the treatment through testimony. Ou encore traitement par groupe de parole. Question. Question. So you are the are you the, the leader in this uh, intervention measure over the other uh, other experts involving in this project and besides you? Est-ce que c'est vous qui ces interventions? Y a-t-il d'autres experts qui participent à ces interventions? And so, as I just Réponse. stated, comme je viens de we le dire, actually have a group at TPO to provide psychological health service to victims and santé a civil parties. Actually, we worked in groups. Nous travaillons en groupe. Question. Question. Can you be more specific? Are the groups uh, providing the same plus plus service plus to various uh, people or uh, different, different groups provide different, different uh, services? Different service? Answer. Réponse. In the projects that our organization established, there are about six to seven uh, staff Mais and sur we all have uh, expertise in uh, providing uh, uh, counseling nos, nos spécialisés, and uh, the group counseling les thérapies de groupe and uh, testimonial therapy et la thérapie par parole ou témoignage and uh, medical treatment et les traitements médicaux so 
some staff would come to provide uh, the counseling service or a comfort to civil parties who are providing the testimonies before this court. Some will provide a telephone a counseling service or to provide the, 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 the counseling through a, a radio talk-in show. Une émission radiophonique. Thank you. Où les gens Question. peuvent appeler. Can you tell us the Question. number of people who have come for counseling service from you regarding de gens uh, sont venus traumatic uh, event since, your, since the start of your organization? Pour des services de thérapie depuis la création de l'organisation. since Réponse. our opening of the office, Depuis I cannot give you the, the exact figure bureau, because euh, each year we received exact. thousands of them, Chaque année, nous en I mean milliers. thousands, Et je veux, je vous dis vraiment and we've been operating for about 16 to 17 years. Et nous sommes en activité depuis 16 ou 17 ans. Thank you. Question. Question. Do you have any specific Merci. statistics? Or have you reviewed the, the review of the rate of people who qui vous came de for service more than once? I mean, who gens sont venus vous would voir come for the second time or for the third time? Ceux qui viennent deux fois, trois fois. And uh, they are all new. Réponse. The number Ce is incremental from one year to the next. Le nombre For example, année, année à the Phnom Penh, exemple, we have provided Penh, the treatment to about 400 to 500 new people, or new patients. patients. And the uh, follow-up service Les would mean that uh, per year, each of them would meet us suivi, four to five times. So it means uh, there could be four to five thousand consultants, uh, consultancy sessions each year. Consultations par année. Thank you. Question regarding the impact of the Democratic Cambodia regime. Je remercie. Do you have any uh, measure in order de l'impact du régime du Cambodia démocratique? To ensure that the impact of the Democratic Cambodia regime can be des façons de déterminer s'il est possible de résoudre l'impact du régime du fact, Cambodia démocratique. J'ai déjà répondu à la que une autre une question qu'on m'a posée là-dessus. Dans suffered, le questionnaire, les gens indiquent le type de traumatisme dont ils ont reçu. Les gens the traumatic events that they experience under the Khmer Rouge regime. So ils ont we look at the symptoms Rouge. they have today, Et quand comparing on through the events that they experience in the past. Voit les symptômes qu'ils présentent aujourd'hui. And we can see the consistent, the consistent pattern and the relationship between tendances. the events that happened and the trauma, traumatic experience that they have. Thank you. Dans la relation entre Allow le traumatisme et les symptômes. That, that your question is related to the Khmer Rouge period and its impact. que votre questionnaire is porte correct? sur la période Khmer Rouge et ses incidences. Answer, pas? yes it is. Réponse. Effectivement. Question. Question. Do you have other questions besides those uh, impacts uh, under the Khmer Rouge regime, for example, questions question uh, which are related que les incidents to the events, events that happened prior to the Khmer Rouge regime sur period. Des événements qui se seraient produits avant la période du Cambodia démocratique Answer, ou après. yes. Réponse. Oui. It's a sp it specified the events that they experienced throughout their life. Ils it could be before or after or during the Democratic avant, pendant ou après la période du Cambodia démocratique. questions are related to the period. La majorité des questions portent question. sur la période. Can you give us some question. examples of the questions in the Vous donner des exemples des questions que l'on retrouve dans le questionnaire? Answer. For example, allow me to uh, read it to you. Réponse. Bien, laissez-moi vous en citer quelques extraits.
Or the lack of food, lack of shelter. Avez-vous frôlé la mort? Avez-vous été privé d'abri? Avez-vous été arrêté, torturé? Catastrophes naturelles or that you ou autre événement? Uh, Avez-vous vu accidents happen to your family members, etc.? Un accident. Thank you. Question. Arrivé à votre Avez-vous vu un membre de votre famille avoir un accident aimed only for the events uh, happen Merci. within the framework Mais of the democratic campaign regime or it's for the entire life seulement sur les événements qui seraient survenus pendant la période de campagne démocratique ou ça pour toute la vie de la personne spent. réponse But Pendant then toute we la vie de la personne, on ne leur demande pas. Ensuite, when de préciser does that, when that, uh, even quand Is it before or after or during the democratic campaign regime? Avant ou Question. pendant le campaign How do you do that? Question. Answer. Et comment fait-on ça? When did that even happen? Eh bien, on leur demande quand est-ce que ça s'est produit. Question. Question. In terms of percentage and the events that are described that have an impact, pourcentage. what would be the percentage of those events uh, that happened before, during, or after the Democratic Cambodia regime? C'est le pourcentage de traumatismes qui ont eu lieu avant, pendant et après. Ce n'est pas une ventilation à laquelle je m'attarde, mais les patients expliquent le type de traumatisme, par exemple, 90% ont pu frôler la mort, ça peut être avant, pendant ou après, mais je ne fais pas de pourcentage pour la Question. Period. Regarding the age range of the Question. subject of your study, do you limit the age range? Et l'âge. For example, from this, uh, the number of years of this person and the percentage for this age group? Yeah. Answer, yes, we do. Contrôlez-vous le groupe d'âge Our uh, service Réponse is oui. only provided through adult, and we do have an age range. Nos services but I sont fournis aux adultes. Nous range. avons une fourchette d'âge, mais je ne m'en souviens pas. Question. Question. Based on your study. Can you make an assessment that people who are about 50 years old Donc d'après votre étude, pouvez-vous dire que les gens qui sont âgés de plus de 50 ans 50 years old or those who are below 30 years old qui ont moins de 50 ans Can you recall or can you uh, recall the percentage of those people that fall within this age group Quel est le pourcentage Answer, I cannot recall that But the, uh, the majority Je of them are pas. above uh, 40 years old. I have to refer to the document ans. in order to give Mais you the specific figure. Il faudrait que je consulte figure. des documents pour vous donner le chiffre exact. Question. Question. Do you refer to the majority? Vous dites la majorité. What do you mean by that? Que voulez-vous dire par majorité? Answer. It means the percentage of those people who receive the service within this age range group are more than the rest. Yeah. Plus de gens âgés de plus de 40 ans qui reçoivent des services que ceux âgés de moins de 40 ans. Question. Question. 
Can you recall how many age groups uh, have you categorized? Mais combien de catégories d'âge avez-vous euh, And uh, I cannot recall. Je ne m'en souviens pas. There could be four to five age groups. Peut-être y avoir, il peut y avoir quatre ou cinq catégories d'âge. Question. Question. How many years difference between each age group? Quelle est la différence d'âge entre And uh, it's about réponse. five years uh, different. Ce sont des tranches de cinq ans. Allow me to also add that what I have just described is uh, for those précision. patients that we provide uh, the psychological uh, treatment to them. Il s'agit là de patients auxquels nous avons prodigué des traitements psychologiques. Thank you. Question. Question. Now, returning to you, you Très actually reduced uh, your age vous. by about vous. three years. Vous avez réduit votre âge de trois ans. So it is likely that you were born in 1965. Donc, euh, is that correct? Donc que vous êtes pas? Answer. Réponse. I don't really know. Je ne sais pas I only know the year of the animal je that I should be about 48 years old. Mon so I use uh, probably about 48. three years of my actual age Donc, and not more than that. Dû mon âge de ans et Thank plus. you. So it means that uh, you Question. rather were you in Cambodia under the Khmer Rouge regime? Vous au Cambodge sous les Khmer Rouge? And uh, yes, Réponse. I was in Cambodia, oui. I was in Kandalstung district, district de Kandalstung, province de Kandalstung. Question. Question. Were your family members also in Cambodia at the time? Et votre famille était-elle au Cambodge aussi? And uh, yes, oui. they were. Thank you. Question. Did any Question. of your family relatives Merci. experience any Les traumatic event under the Khmer Rouge regime, which is also the subject Rouge. of your study? Et qui est d'ailleurs le sujet de votre étude. Answer. Réponse. My elder sister Ma soeur aînée. passed away at the time due to illness and I have uh, several other cousins Et who passed away. Sont aussi morts. Question. Question. In relation uh, to PTSD, sometimes you say that it is a symptom, vous and sometimes you say it is an illness. Que le syndrome de stress post-traumatique est un symptôme, two? et des fois vous dites que c'est une maladie. Answer. Lequel est? Thank you for this very good uh, question. Réponse. Merci pour cette excellente question. I am undertaking a study. In order to define the theory of a trauma based on the Cambodian culture, the study has passed its initial stage, Cambodian. and we are Cette moving forward in the stade stade preliminaire et nous currently I can actually use the term Je it is a condition, dire a condition of an illness. I do not define it as a witness de yet. But uh, for Pathologie. ordinary Cambodian people, they would say it is a, a di an illness or a disease. But maladie. for us, as pour a nous, researcher, we had to be more specific in order to define the, that condition as an illness. Cet état pour uh, catégoriser comme maladie. Thank you, Mr. President. I have no further question. And Mr. Sotira, I thank you very much for answering my questions. The President, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman Sotira. Your 
testimony has come to a conclusion now. So you may be excused now from the courtroom. I uh, take this opportunity to thank uh, Q for uh, taking time of your uh, busy schedule to uh, testify before the court over the last two days. I thank you for your uh, efforts uh, in responding to the various questions uh, put by the parties. Your uh, testimony will uh, contribute to ascertaining uh, the truth. I wish you the best of luck and happiness. Court officer is now instructed to uh, coordinate with the uh, Wesu unit uh, to uh, arrange the transport of the expert uh, to his home or to any direction he wishes to go. The time is also appropriate for the day adjournment. The chamber adjourns uh, now and resume tomorrow, uh, Friday the 7th, June 2013, starting from 8.30 in the morning. And for tomorrow's hearing, the chamber will resume hearing the uh, testimony of Mr. Sidney Shanberg uh, from New York. And in the afternoon, the chamber will hear the testimony of uh, T.C. W665 TCW665 and this is uh, also the information for the parties members of the public and the supporting staff uh, for the uh, arrangement for uh, tomorrow hearing security guards are now instructed to bring Mr. Kyusampon and Mr. Nguyen uh, back to the detention facility and uh, have them returned uh, before 8.30 uh, tomorrow morning. And as for Mr. Nguyen he is to be returned to the holding cell downstairs where he can follow the proceedings through remote means. The court is now adjourned. L'audience est levée.